Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the drive hub kit in a Maytag washer. It's going to be a very easy repair. It should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For the job, we're going to need a small flat blade screwdriver, a deep 7 16 inch socket, the long extension, the socket wrench, a couple of hooks, a flat blade screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver, putty knife, and a pair of pliers. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new drive hub kit and the recalibrating instructions. The drive hub kit is located under the wash plate. The drive hub is attached to the basket, and when the transmission spin shaft engages the drive hub, the washer spins. If the washer is in the spin cycle, but the basket is not turning and making banging noises, check and replace the drive hub kit if needed. To get to the part, we need to open the lid. And now we're going to remove this fabric softener dispenser using a flat blade screwdriver. I'm going to tilt this uh, basket to the side, and I'm going to place the flat blade screwdriver right in that uh, little groove here, and I'm going to pry it up. To remove the agitator, we need to take out the bolt that is on the very bottom of the agitator. I'm going to use a 7 16 inch uh, long socket and a long extension. So, place it on, hold it at the bottom, and I'm going to break it loose. All right, this is a nice pair of hooks I'm going to use. Uh, this is our OD factory made, but you can uh, design your own and make it at home. Just use the, um, like a wire, so maybe a thin rod and bend it. Okay, so I'm going to uh, place one into the hole here and the other one into the opposite side and I'm gonna start lifting it up and uh, there we go now I'm going to use the flat blade screwdriver I'm going to pry out this uh, drive hub retainer at this point I'm going to use the pliers here All right, so this is the retainer we took out. Uh, to remove the dry hub now, we need to take out six Phillips screws. So I'm going to use a Phillips screwdriver, and we're going to start unscrewing. I'm going to use the putty knife, and I'm going to pry this hub up. I'm not going to continue with the flat blade screwdriver. And finally, it's off. Well, we're going to use the uh, soap and the uh, paper towel or the rag and clean this yuck. This is the old drive hub kit next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from appliancepartspros.com. All right, so here are our new drive hub and we're going to pull out the uh, retainer okay now we're going to install the uh, hub onto the uh, splines of the shaft you see this uh, splines inside will fit over the splines on the bottom of the shaft so let's place it onto the shaft and uh, we need to kind of play with it and we'll uh, see where it's going to be aligning with the holes at the bottom all six of them right there i'm going to press it down and i'm going to use the uh, screwdriver butt you can use the uh, small uh, plastic or rubber 
them out. All right, and now we're gonna place screws in there and uh, the screws will tighten it. I'm gonna place three pilot screws using a Phillips screwdriver, we're gonna tighten it, but not all the way, just slightly. We need to go one by one. And now I'm gonna install the rest of the screws. I'm gonna retighten them all. And again, do not over tighten. I'm going to install this uh, hob retainer into these uh, channels. All right, I'm gonna use the uh, pliers. You can use the uh, plastic or rubber mallet. All right, next we are going to install the wash plate. So we're going to install the wash plate onto the shaft. Uh, this spline inside will fit over the uh, shaft splines. Okay, we're going to slide it onto the splines. And next we're going to install the agitator. I will place that bolt into this uh, socket head. And then I'm going to pull out this beautiful agitator and I'm going to insert this into the agitator and we're going to go through this opening and I'm going to turn it over and mount it onto this uh, wash plate. And I place the bolt right in the opening in the center. And I'm gonna tighten the bolt. You need to hold it down so it will stop the basket from turning to a certain point. And then you need to hold the basket and tighten more. Okay. And now we're going to install the fabric softener dispenser. Place it on the top and push it down. And now we can close the lid. Okay, folks, after we've done the repair, we need to recalibrate the washer. Make sure it's plugged in and hooked up to the water. And then just read and follow the instructions. This is your knob that you're going to turn. And this is your indicator lights that will indicate on which cycle it is. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other videos available on our site, on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram.